Hello, and thank you for tuning in to this episode of Gimme Shelter. We're starting a new series on the Gimme Shelter series, and we're now focusing on Microsoft 365 security. And we are going to continue uh, and segue from our security in Azure into our Microsoft security Gimme Shelter series by continuing on what we talked about in the last security in Azure episode around Sentinel. My name is Dwayne Natwick. I am a Microsoft MVP and a cloud training architect lead at Opsgility. I hold multiple certifications in both the CISSP for ISC2 as well as in Microsoft, including Microsoft uh, Architect, Admin, and Security Administrator Associate for Microsoft 365, and Security Engineer Associate for Azure. And you can find me on the social media links provided on this slide. So what are we gonna talk about here today? Uh, I'm going to go through and just really quick give an overview of what a SIM is, uh, what is Azure Sentinel and what is its capabilities. And then we're going to do a demo on how to connect data sources into Azure Sentinel. So before we get into the demo and get into Azure Sentinel, it's very important to understand what a SIM is and what that is and what a SIM, S-I-E-M, stands for is security information and event management. And what it is utilized for in a organization's architecture is it provides a central location for logs and security events and pro through gathering that information from multiple data sources. And is usually something that is utilized from a security operations center or a SOC within an enterprise. Some of the big benefits of that is a SIM can help with your defense in depth strategy, decrease the number of vulnerabilities as it's as it's finding those vulnerabilities through the logs uh, and the analytics and machine learning processes that take place in the background. Uh, it can identify potential threats and it then can remediate those threats and decrease the attack surface within your organization. Azure Sentinel then is a SIM service within the Azure cloud environment. It is a cloud native SIM. It has integration with many of the other controls and policies, Azure Security Center and things that are part of the Azure environment. And those are then uh, utilized So Azure Sentinel is then Microsoft's version of a SIM. It's a cloud native uh, SIM that utilizes the Azure and Microsoft 365 ecosystem and artificial intelligence that's built into Azure Cognitive Services, the threat intelligence feeds that Microsoft has, and then has that extensive compliance report in this part of Azure Security Center and Azure Policy to provide those forensic capabilities and investigate and respond to threats. In addition, it has the ability to connect data sources from other third party security, uh, security services and security, uh, security tools and, uh, and appliances. So what are the, just quickly, some of the capabilities uh, are, as we, as we stated in the previous slide, compliance reporting, uh, internal and external threat detection, real-time monitoring, correlation, and analysis of threats. It utilizes log analytics as well as logic apps to provide alerting, provide queries into those logs, and analyze those logs and create incidents that you can then investigate uh, deeper and wider within your organization. And one of the great things about initializing an environment with Azure Sentinel as your SIM solution is SIMs have generally some limitations in terms of they're expensive and take a long time to implement. And Azure Sentinel helps to, uh, to, uh, uh, to, Azure Sentinel helps to decrease that time to implement as well as it's a pay as you go based on the amount of data that you're ingesting. So 
can decrease some of that expense as well as an operating expense rather than a big capital investment solution. It has the uh, it, it has a lot of the analysis and configuration and integration that's required for a on-premises type SIM solution built into it. So it's easy to get up and running and allows for uh, for very easy to understand configuration within the environment. And the last thing I want to just show before we go into the demo is take a look at the at a hybrid infrastructure that's utilizing Azure Sentinel here in the middle as the SIM solution. There are many Azure and Microsoft 365 services, as you can see on the right side and the top and the bottom with logic apps and log analytics being fit, uh, fed into the Sentinel SIM. Information protection, Active Directory, Security Center, uh, Microsoft 365 services, and all of the policies for all of your virtual machines, your databases, your storage accounts, your firewalls, all feeding into that SIM solution. And then you have third party services such as AWS CloudTrail and, uh, and other uh, Azure, other firewall services, firewall hardware, such as some and semantic uh, protection services and Palo Alto and Checkpoint, all of those services and data sources can be fed into the SIM solution and then utilize the power of the AI services and and log analytics services to then analyze that information, create incidents where potential vulnerabilities and threats are found so that you can investigate and protect your environment. So now let's go quickly into a demo and take a look at Azure Sentinel, how easy it is to just get it set up and running, uh, particularly around uh, Office 365 services and cloud app security. So we're now in the Azure portal, and we're going to go into Sentinel. So currently, I have a couple workspaces already in place, and we'll go into those in a second, but let's just show how quickly and easily it is to get started in Azure Sentinel. So we're going to create a new workspace here. Let's create a new workspace. We'll create it in a existing resource group, and we are going to just review and create what we need to do first is create this log analytics workspace within our environment. And once we create our log analytics workspace, we can then connect that into our Sentinel environment. So once that creates, we will pause for a second while that log analytics workspace creates and shows up. And in just a couple moments, there it is, it's there. So we can now select that demo uh, Sentinel workspace and add it to Azure Sentinel. So the most important thing around Azure Sentinel is to look at these three setup components here and get those uh, configured and then you're ready to start utilizing Sentinel. Uh, most important thing is is connecting data sources. And you can do that over here in configuration and data connections, as well as when you look at the get started guides, it steps you through. Creating, you know, uh, creating those data source connect connections, uh, creating security alerts, and then automating and orchestrating by utilizing a Logic Apps workspace. We're not going to uh, going to look at two and three today in this session, being that this is a quick session. What we are going to do is connect a couple of data sources. So let's do that now. So we just need to click connect, and you can see it sends us to the data connectors page. So what what we're going to connect here is let's connect Azure Security Center. So you can see we go and open our connector page and every one of these connector pages have what you need to do in terms of prerequisites and configuration. So if we have everything all set and ready to go, it will allow us immediately to select connect and I'm all ready to go. I selected connect. I am now connected. So Azure Security Center is now connected. So now we go back and let's find the next one that we want to do. Uh, the next one we want to do is let's scroll down and we will find 
Office 365. Let's do that one next. And we open that connector and we can see we need a workspace and tenant permissions. Uh, you can see we need global administrator or security administrator permissions to be able to connect this workspace. And then we connect, we can connect Exchange, SharePoint, and Teams is in preview as well. We can apply those changes. And in a few moments, that will also be connected. And we'll come back to that and I'll show, show those connections being in place in a moment. Uh, the one that we have a little bit of, uh, of additional configuration to do is for Microsoft Cloud App Security. And when we open that up, you can see, uh, we need to configure, uh, configure Cloud, have Cloud App Security license for one, but we also are going to need to go into Cloud App Security and do some, uh, do some connecting. Uh, with that so let's let's uh, take care of that and show that and we can enable to create incidents for cloud app security as well so let's pause here for a moment and i'm going to go into my microsoft 365 uh, admin portal and show you how to connect azure sentinel as a data source for cloud app security center all right so we are now in our microsoft security center we're in the microsoft 365 compliance center so you can get there by just going compliance.microsoft.com. And we're going to open our Cloud App Security environment. And within here, uh, we need to connect apps is where we need to go for this. And when we go in here, uh, we can see the different applications, conditional access controls. But what we need to do is we need to go over to the gear up here at the top and hit security extensions. So what we need to do here when we get into our SIM agents is uh, is we need to connect Azure Sentinel. So what we're going to do here is we're going to connect Azure Sentinel by just clicking this the arrow down on the plus sign, and you can see Azure Sentinel is right there. So we can apply all alerts, uh, apply discovery, apply to the discovery logs, and click next. It's going to configure. It says congratulations, closed. So it's that easy to do. Now, when we go back to our cloud app security, we have a connection status of green here. You can see the little green bar might be hard to see in the shared screen, but you can see that. And if we go back here and re refresh our connected services here, we can see we now have three services connected and they have the green bar over here as well as cloud app security, Office 365. And if I go up a little bit further, we can see Azure Security Center. So now, I am gathering log information from all three of those sources and what it's going to potentially feed is what might be happening within my environment. And we can see within our dashboard, any events and alerts that are taking place, any sign-in anomalies that are taking place within our environment, within our 365 environment, if somebody's signing in from uh, from strange places, uh, that's going to get fed from uh, the three, from your Azure AD activity, as well as your uh, as well as your cloud app security activity uh, within here. And then incidents will start getting created within your environment. So that's my quick demo on how to set up data sources with Azure Sentinel. Thank you for tuning in to this episode of Give Me Shelter, Microsoft 365 Security. We will continue on on this series again next week with our next topic as we continue to explore the different ways to secure your Microsoft 365 environment. Feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel as well as follow me on the social media links provided on the slide. Thank you very much and see you next week.